Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Man, Justin and I have been gone for a mad minute. I know last month we only had one video, but this month we have a whole bunch planned for you guys. So in this video here, we're gonna be shooting these awesome targets. These are Firebird targets. This is a 65 bio, they also have a 50 bio, but these are three times better than the 50 bio. So we are super excited to try these. We met these guys out at Drive Tanks at the Gundy Awards just a few weeks ago. Whoa, this thing's a little windy out here. And uh, these guys hooked us up with some really cool targets. When they were first firing them, I honestly thought they were shooting incendiary rounds at targets, at steel targets, but they weren't. They were shooting these little targets. These things are about the size of a hockey puck, but about half as thick. They are a binary target that you don't have to mix. You just peel it, stick it, shoot it, and repeat. And let me tell you, these things are an absolute blast to shoot, pun intended. So if you guys see the short video right here, you will see where we shot this guy with the shotgun with the glasses on just to see what'll happen. So you gotta check out this short here to watch the zombie go boom. All right, so what we're gonna be shooting in this video here is we're gonna show you what it does to a honeydew. We got an RC Cola, we got them double stacked. You can stick these together and get a little bit bigger boom out of them. And we're gonna shoot it with the 20 gauge and just see what it does to this old monitor. Now last, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot this can of paint just so you guys can get your curiosity out of the way. Don't stick them on flammable things because they do make a flash and you can catch things on fire. Make sure you're doing it in a wide open area. Always carry a fire extinguisher and just put them on other targets. But we're just gonna hit this spray can and just show you what it does uh, so you don't have to. So anyways, this is what we got set up for you. Heck, let's get going. All right, we got two liter of cola versus the Firebird. I'm just gonna use a 22. Got a little bit of distance, probably at least 15 meters here. You don't want to get too much closer than that. It is a pretty big bang for considering how small these are. And the wind's in my back, so hopefully I won't get wet, but the cameras up there just might. You only bought one, didn't you? Huh? Did you only bring one? I only brought one soda. Why'd you bring one? I brought three melons. Hey, <laughs> this is what you get for missing. <laughs> is there anybody else out there that needs a shooting job? Cause Justin missed from 15 meters. All right, time for the honeydew. And Chris needs to go to the supermarket and grab another cola. Cause they only bought one. We gotta redo that whole thing. All right, this time if I actually miss, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Here we go. Jeez. That, that was a lot louder than I thought. I should have put EarPro in. My ears are ringing. <laughs> Woo! That was cool. That was a double stack on that honeydew melon and that thing went skadoosh. Uh, blew it. Man, it stinks too. Uh, just blew it completely apart. Hey, cool thing also about these little targets, they are biodegradable. Yep. They will go away into the ground, into their natural form again. All right, enough talking. Okay, now we're gonna shoot the paint can just to show you what not to do. Um, we have our target stand here down low because it is a little breezy. Again, we have fire extinguishers, la la la. Here we go. All right, now we're gonna do the paint can. I'm really glad the wind is at my back. So hopefully I don't get covered in paint. And the cameras that are closer to it are Chris's, so I'm not too worried about that either. So again, not advised to do this experiment. It may cause a fireball. And we're surrounded by dry grass and on a windy day, really smart. 
Oh, wow. That was a much bigger fireball than I thought. Well, let me grab the fire extinguisher. And it was all yellow. That was super cool. Don't do this at home, kids. We are professional idiots. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say semi-professional. Semi-professional yeah, idiots, right, but you know. <laughs> so, uh, good shot, boom, as you saw, it ignited this. That's why you gotta be really safe with these things still, okay? Um, great for metal targets, anything. You can shoot these with a high-powered pellet rifle. Arrows can set it off with a high enough uh, draw on it. So these targets are real cool, very universal. Something that the kids can get into a lot uh, more than say tannerite, because even a quarter pound of tannerite is pretty dangerous. Again, no mixing on these, totally legal to transport. That's enough talking, let's blow up a monitor. All right, so we put a few more, a few extra on the monitor here, and we're gonna hit it with a 20 gauge. We've never done it with a shotgun. I'm curious if it actually set it off. It was actually designed, or part of the reason it was designed is to put on sporting clays. So, well, speaking of that, we should try that too. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Get more of a spread, set off multiple at once. You ready, Chris? Yeah, hopefully the birdshot will set it off. If not, I'll have to find some buckshot or something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a piece over there that went right past me. Yeah, when you're setting off more than one, make sure you get a little bit further back than we were just doing. Wow. It's gone, man. It's gone. It vaporized it. Holy cow. I did, you know, I knew the shotgun was going to blow it apart, but talk about a force multiplier. Holy cow. But this, look at this. I mean, carnage everywhere. We're gonna really have to clean up your range now, Justin. Thanks for breaking glass and my children's You're place. welcome. His kids play here, they can pick it up with their feet. Monkey kids, weird. All right, we're having so much fun with this. Justin and I brought a watermelon out. We weren't sure if we were gonna shoot it, but we have got to shoot it. So we're gonna stack three of them on it, set it down on our pallet and see what the 22 does setting that bad boy off. Here we go. All right, time to juice this watermelon. I mean, these things are so much fun. I love the fact that you can just stick them to anything. I don't have to mix anything. Yeah, mixing the other binary targets is kind of annoying, especially when it's windy. It gets everywhere. Probably inhale it. Can't be good for you. But these, they're just ready to go. So thanks to Firebirds for hooking us up with that.
Jeez, that's loud. I got wet. <laughs> you got you got misted. <laughs> I keep forgetting to put an ear pro. Man, thank you guys so much, Firebird Targets, for setting us up with these. So that was a, a triple stack on that one. And as you can see, just totally made a mess of that watermelon. Can you believe I had to drive all the way to the store to get a two liter bottle so Justin and I could shoot it again? I mean, the guy never misses. That's why I, I only bought one. No, he had to miss today, so. Coke it is. Justin? I drove all the way to the store and got a Woka Cola. Whose fault's that? Yours, cause <laughs> you missed. Now. Fair. Don't miss. Uh, since uh, Chris is such a such a CA, I only got one. Again, hopefully I don't miss this time. If I do, oh well, I guess we're not gonna see it. Please don't miss. <laughs> Oh, that was loud. I did it again. <laughs> I hear the ringing. I don't have to fire him. <laughs> he totally redeemed himself. Because I was thinking maybe I just need to get Top Shot Dustin. Just change one letter and all the paperwork and Justin's gone. And Dustin's in. But he redeemed himself. Scud douche. Oh, cool. Look how it... <laughs> It blew it down. Down through the hole. All right, that was pretty cool. Really like these targets. Uh, they're my new favorite targets because, like Justin said, you, you just stick them to anything and just start having fun. No mixing, small. A 10 pack is like 20 bucks, man. It's well worth it. So make sure you pick up your Firebird targets today. But first, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and we'll be back.